Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Greetings of peace. This is Sumaya Khalifa with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. Welcome our, to our morning inspirations. We're so honored to have Ustaz Zainab Ansari with us today. And um, Ustaz Zainab is the resident scholar at Taysir Seminary. So Ustaz Zainab, we're so glad to have you. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala barakatuh to Sumaya and my dear ISB Atlanta family. So my reflection, let me begin, of, of course, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. So my reflection will kind of continue our theme from the last couple of weeks, um, the idea of God's mercy, compassion, rahma, and very kind of closely related to that is I wanted to share some thoughts on the concept of shukur or gratitude or thankfulness. So as I mentioned before, there are these beautiful names, Asma'ullah al-Husna, by which uh, by which we invoke God. And many of these names, of course, are listed in the Quran. We find many of them in the Hadith as well. But if we actually look at the names of beauty that I mentioned last time, uh, Rahman, Rahim, uh, Halim, names like, uh, like Shakur and, and, uh, and Sabur, these are names that, in a sense, remind us of the qualities that we actually uh, seek to cultivate in ourselves. And I'll give you an example. So I was thinking this, reflecting this morning about the name uh, Shakur. And this is actually one of the um, attributes of God. And one of the things that, one of the, one of the interesting things here is that Shakur, we often hear it in, in relation to Abd Shakur, where somebody is uh, the servant of the one that uh, reciprocates gratitude, right, if you will, the one that is, is benevolent. So I wanted to bring a verse of the Quran that actually illustrates this almost reciprocal sort of quality of gratitude. And we see this specifically in, if you open your Qurans to, let's see, chapter 31. This is the beautiful story of uh, Sayyidina Luqman, he was one of the, the sages from ancient times. And this is chapter 31 of the Quran. This is verse 12. And this particular verse reads, um, Indeed, we have given Luqman wisdom. Give thanks to God. Whosoever gives thanks, gives thanks only for his own soul's good. And whosoever is ungrateful, surely God is all sufficient, all laudable. So in this particular verse, even though we don't have the name Shakur itself, right? The verse reads, وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا لُقْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةِ أَنِشْكُرْ لِلَّهِ وَمَنْ يَشْكُرْ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِهِ وَمَنْ كَفَرْ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ غَنِيٌّ حَمِيدٌ So that's the Arabic. So even though we do not have that specific attribute Shakur in this verse, we actually have two other attributes that we learn, right? We have the attribute Ghani, which means all-sufficient, or free of need, and we also have Hamid, which means praiseworthy. But I selected this verse because I think this verse also helps us to understand what Shakur means. And again, this idea of there being a reciprocal kind of quality um, between the, the servant of God, that, that person who is grateful to God, and God actually reciprocating that. So again, one of the things that we learn in this ayah is that God imparts to Luqman this wisdom. And what he teaches Luqman is this idea of giving thanks to God. And this idea that when we are thankful to God, that this is something we actually do to benefit our own soul. And we actually, we actually learn in other verses of the Quran that when the human being is grateful, then God actually increases that person. And that's a very beautiful concept. So in this ayah is, and when your Lord proclaimed, if you are thankful, surely I will increase you. So again, something for us to think about here. And taking us back to our reflection on uh, on uh, Rahma and Ar Rahman and Ar Rahim, the 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 Lord of Mercy, the Giver of Mercy. One of the things that we we were we can reflect upon is that there is a, a a sort of a dispensation of mercy, if you will. That uh, one of the things that we learn about this quality of Rahma is that when 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 God sort of uh, 
uh, dispersed that quality of mercy throughout creation that he, re he reserved the, the, the vast portion of that mercy for himself, but he actually gave a portion of that, um, 199th, if you will, to all of creation. And that's a really beautiful concept upon which to reflect because, again, that tells us, that gives us a sense of the vastness of God's mercy because we see every day in our lives examples of human mercy, whether it's the mercy of the mother for her children or it's the mercy of the teacher for, you know, his students, whether it's the, the mercy, say, of the elders to uh, those who are younger or vice versa. So every day in our lives, I think if we really think about it, we can contemplate sort of these examples of mercy, large and small. And think about that. All these many acts of mercy, of kindness, of goodness, of gentleness, of benevolence, of charity that we see on a daily basis and hopefully participate in, all of those just constitute 199th of God's mercy. So imagine again that vast ocean, if you will, of the mercy of Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, God most high. And like I said, begin to kind of, when you think about the attributes of God, especially the attributes of jamal, of beauty, think about that kind of reciprocal quality where God is not just mentioning these attributes in the Quran um, sort of in, a, in an abstract theological sense, but God is mentioning them as a way to encourage us to kind of cultivate, of course, on a human level, these attributes in, in our lives, because we've been given by the grace of God a small portion of them. So again, if you are thankful, surely I will increase you. So let's begin every single day by... Um, being thankful to God, as I mentioned last time, kind of taking a few moments to kind of to sit with ourselves and reflect on those mercies and those kindnesses, large and small, that we can be grateful for. You know, a good friend shared with me a piece of advice that I want to kind of share with all of you, and we can conclude with this. She said that one of the things that she's found so helpful for her after her prayer, her five times daily prayer, is to sit for a few minutes, i.e. don't just kind of jump up and kind of become preoccupied with other things, but sit for a few minutes. And she said when, we, when, when you sit for a few minutes and you, and, and you say, subhanallah, you know, uh, glory be to God, alhamdulillah, praise be to God, Allahu Akbar, God is greatest, that with each sort of... Um, dhikr or remembrance of God, she actually encourages herself to think of something to be grateful for, to be thankful for, to be uh, happy about. And that in, invariably when she gets up from her prayer, she gets up and she feels rejuvenated and ready to go back into her day. And so I'd like to encourage all of us to think about doing that again, kind of taking practices that maybe can be sort of mechanical because they are repetitive and kind of rejuvenating these practices by connecting them to, I think, their ultimate purpose, which is to kind of increase in thankfulness to Allah Ta'ala, um, uh, love for God, reverence for God, and kind of taking those reflections into our life beyond and sharing that with those around us. So I pray this has been of benefit to all of you here. Remember, one of the things that our beloved prophet said, um, peace and blessings be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is that one of the best things that you can do, that all of us can do, is to bring joy to the heart of a believer. So I hope that by sharing these reflections, you can think about the joys in your, in your life and share those with those around you. So thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Ustazah Zainab, Jazakallah khair, thank you so much. You did bring joy to our hearts of reminding us of the mercy of God and how only uh, one over 99% parts of his mercy is given to all mankind and all creations. And I love the practice that you shared with us. And maybe uh, to kind of help us remember what Ustazah Zainab said is to maybe make a list, an actual list, sitting down and being thankful for everything that we have. And that way, when we sit down after our prayers, we can um, remember them. Uh, thank you again for the beautiful inspiration this morning and starting us off on the right foot, if you will. And uh, we thank you and we look forward to seeing you uh, next week. 
Um, this is to my Khalifa mm -hmm. with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. And um, if you do like our work, what we present to you, we would appreciate your support as well. So uh, hope everyone has a great day and we'll see you here tomorrow. Thank you again, Mr. Thank you.